Ladies and gentlemen, this is something we have not touched in a very long time, and I'm happy to announce that the first new series that's going to be go with the new schedule plan that I have for the YouTube channel is going to be a full return to Star Wars Empire War Expanded Thrawn's Revenge. That's right, everybody. Empire War Expanded was literally one of the first mods that I played on the channel that kind of grew to where it was now. It's been a very long time since I've played it, and to be perfectly honest, I've legitimately completely missed it. I have I have no idea how to really play anything within the new version of this mod. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's just different compared to like a year or two ago when I last actually played it. Um, there's just so many different factions and stuff and eras. And I didn't actually know we're getting a late use on Vaughn War, Darkness Crisis, and a Legacy of the Force. That's actually kind of insane. I haven't kept up in a minute. But we're gonna be starting off with my favorite faction, the Republic. I'm a big fan of the New Republic. I'm a big fan of the era of the New Republic, the Galactic Civil War era, the late Galactic Civil War era with the new reborn Jedi Order and everything of that nature. I've been looking for something that's more story focused. So this intro has been long enough. Let's give a quick shout out to the patrons. We've got one. <laughs> uh, I do want to grow this list at some point in the future, but shout out to TK421 Dova. Thank you, man, for supporting me over on Patreon. And let's jump into a known full galaxy or no galaxy i didn't want to jump into anything with the uh empire of the hand I, it's not that i don't like them but it just feels kind of out of place sometimes when i'm doing when i when i used to play these like thrones revenge scenarios i really like just the eras that are known at the time or the factions that are known and holy mother of good googly god almighty we've got a but chillion different things to read through so this is going to be a bit of a interesting one because like i said it's just been a hot minute since i've uh, touched everything. So this is this. This is our camera. This is victory conditions. That's fine. We don't need to read that just yet. Pause. Fast forward. I have to remember this mod has its own like unique UI. There's a diplomacy system now, and there's just a whole bunch of stuff to kind of really look at. Man, we've got worlds upon worlds upon worlds. There's Endor. Uh, all right, so we're all the way down here in the southern part of the core or the the galaxy. We've got Contrum over here. Yeah, a lot of this is really ringing a bell right now. We've got the Imperial Remnant in the core just doing his thing. Ithor, Oberdon, Daenerys. Wow. <laughs> this, this honestly brings back a lot of memories. Like, it genuinely does, man. I'm actually excited to really get back into this. We're going to crank this up a little bit. Especially now that I have a separate like audio source for gameplay audio in my streams or my recordings. But okay. We got a lot to kind of go through, a lot for me to figure out. There's a whole different system. I mean, you got your weekly resources, your stockpile resources. Um, oh, wait. Okay. So we get these per week. Stockpile resources. I guess this is like ship crews. I think this is. Okay. All right. And then we got a bunch of stuff down here. We've got our Naval Academy, which provides uh, ship crews, but it also costs us credits. We've got our fort or our agri our agriport, which provides us with food. And then we've also got our factories, which provide us with industrial like parts. Um, yeah, and then we've got this local infrastructure influence, in invest into your planetary infrastructure in order to increase your influence on the planet, and make the population more supportive of your reign. Noted. Got tax collection agency. We have a bill limit total of two or a bill limit of two and a total. The total is infinite. And then over here, we've got some defensive structures. I like the, all the icons. These icons are really actually making everything stand out. Um, our base defenses. We've got our planetary shield generator, our ion cannon. And I know a lot of you probably already know about a lot of this stuff. I'm reading it for myself because there's just so much. And then our different factory types, which aren't really too um, uh, too unique or different from the last time I checked them out. Now, this is a system that's going to confuse me a little bit. It's the like leadership system. I'm going to have to read over everything. But uh, let's start with this. The Emperor may be defeated, but our work is far from over. Many systems still remain under Imperial oppressors. Fortunately, the Imperials have begun infighting. We must take advantage of this opportunity. I recommend you begin by relieving our Celestial allies who are surrounded by the forces of Santa Devardus. The Republic progresses by, Imper by killing Imperial leaders. We all know this. The era can also progress automatically after 60 in-game day or weeks. As the era change, the New Republic will gain and lose access to different time-appropriate units and heroes. To progress to Era 2, the Empire must lose St. Pay, Pestage, Coruscant, or 60 weeks must elapse. Okay. And then there's a whole bunch of more. Story events, spoilers, hero unit, and tooltip overview. I should probably read this really quick. I remember the tiers and stuff, sort of, but I want to look over... Okay, so so five one is best, five is worst. Note it. There, there's just a lot of heroes, man. <laughs> if we ever need, to, if we ever need to answer any questions, I'm sure everything's already here. And then we've got influence and unique units. 
I don't remember what unique units you could get from where. Let's go to the Republic. Um. Okay, wait, all right, let's, let's there's a lot. I uh, know I'm not going to try to sit here and read through everything because I know you guys want to get to the action. But uh, Bakura has a bunch of unique units. I mean, I don't think any of these are going to come into, like, importance at any point for us, you know? Or at least right now, anyway. Uh, Munificence of Munilis, Mandalorian Soldiers, Commandos, Candor's Tanks. You can build a lot of stuff in Mandalore, actually. That's surprising. I don't know what any of these ships are. Coordinate at the Kornak Cluster. Uh, Hapes. Hapes stuff. Karina Gain, Commander, Minor Heroes, Ground and Space from Academy of Influence for and Higher. Noted. Okay, so we're going to be gunning for Karina. Uh, and then planning specific galactic companies. Wow, there's a lot. Holy cow. Uh, all right, I'm going to look for anything that says NR for New Republic. So we've got Balmoran Arms, we've got Bothu with Shipyards, we've got Karita Academy. Everybody can build that. Um, and hopefully you guys like the new camera angle, too. We're, we're doing everything off of one PC now, so I was able to move some of my equipment around. Republic Engineering Corp, all locations. Uh, CNR, CNR Fleet Systems, you know, Republic. You can build these on a variety of different planets, too. But we'll see them as we go. Uh, unique heroes and units. Okay. Okay. I think there's one other thing too. Galactic faction statistics. Okay. Well, we only really care about the Republic right now. Persistent damage for super star destroyers. That's right. That does exist now. Okay. We have 17 planets on. We have our, per our percentage of military strength is 11%. We're actually probably the weakest. The empire itself is at the highest being 20%. And then the independent factions, which are independent, own everything. Uh, was there anything else that I missed? Story events. Alright, this contains spoilers. Of course, on evacuation, survive until the evacuation is finished. Black Fleet Crisis, research. Alright, all the research for all the different units. Now, what I need to know is how the Senate system works. Current Chief of State. Alright, this is what I need to know. Mamothma is our current Chief of State. Supported candidate... Uh, Mamothma, but we could change that per week. Active command staff, updates on week change. Uh, we've got Leia. Okay, so additional ship crews. Okay, so if we want to pick anybody in particular, I think we'll leave Mamothma be for now until we get to about... Uh, when was the last time that Mamothma changed, like, leadership? I don't really remember. We know some new heroes, too. I have no idea who Ua Il Lilor is. Her immobilizer. Oh, this is her. She's got a new icon. Nice. I like that one way better than the other one. So she got the immobilizer 48. You got Firmus Nance with a really, really cool icon. He's over here at Saijo. And I guess we're really over here at Sullis. There's a lot of stuff kind of happening over here at Sullis. You can also recruit new heroes and stuff too. Which, um. We've got a bunch of different commander options. Okay. Uh, Lando Carizian requires Lady Luck. Locks on Thrawn's death. Locked in there. Blah, 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 blah. Requires CN Tev as Chief of State. And Namo. Unlocked if Akbar dies. Ak Duel. <laughs> Ak Duel. Uh, there's a lot, man. Octavian Grant. I gotta remember, he did join the New Republic, technically. Chal Dorad can be enabled at Vun Masa or by Masa Death. Okay. There's a lot. A lot of heroes okay let's focus on building up ourselves so we don't die to all the imperial forces that are kind of surrounding us over here right now uh we have what how many credits Ten thousand. i think buffing up this planet is probably the smartest decision we can go through with uh right now and i believe these are independent factions right independent and this is the iriadu authority so we gotta worry about these guys there should be a super star destroyer here last time i remember which was a long time ago uh, but since we don't have to worry about those guys moving and all these independent factions are just kind of doing their own thing and these guys aren't attacking, we can kind of buff up some of these like little corner pockets of worlds. Beginning so let's put, what is this, a trade station? You only can put 15 of these. Noted. Okay, so Endor will get one, or not Endor, but Besman will get one. Chardon, because of the Chardon shipyards, will get one. And then we can also put um, some orbital facilities here. We have access to a bunch of different ships. And then our only real, like, heavy gray capital ship is the MC-80B type. But okay. Let's see here. Contram doesn't really generate as much. But we also do need to worry about the agricultural side of things as well. Uh, so let's see here. We get a what? What is this? 
automatically produces additional food. I think we'll put an additional food place here. And then put this here, I guess? There's a lot to really think about. Uh, mining facilities can be built on this planet. What do we have here? Transgalmag Industries. Bulwark 1 and 2 Battle Cruisers. Okay. I don't think we have access to any kind of like heavy shipyards over here at the moment anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we've got access to the mining facility, which gives us a bunch of credits actually. Let's uh, let's invest in that. And then Hoth, I don't think Hoth is going to provide us with anything. It has a light frigate shipyard. Yeah, we don't really gain much from Hoth right now. Uh, this planet consumes, produces six industrial and five food per week. Okay, so we just got to keep a little bit of an eye on that. And then Bothwood generates us a crap ton of credits. I think this is the headquarters of the New Republic Senate. Yeah. Okay, that, so what if we just sold the Senate? <laughs> uh, Alright, so let, let, let's see here. We're gonna, um, we got a lot to look at, man. Local infrastructure influence. I mean, we, we definitely gonna want that plus influence, you know, additional trade income, uh, trade income. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. We're just gonna, like, try to ration our credits properly, I guess. It's Cothless. So I remember this planet from the Rogue Squadron games. Uh, how much income does that generate? That generates a little nice chunk of income. And the only people that have access to us are the Empire. Okay. I think we can afford to put a trade board here. Started. Building canceled. These are unlimited, right? Building yeah, you started. can build as many of these as you want on certain planets, but only two per planet. Or, you can build as many as you want, but only two per planet. Okay. Now, who is this? Zinj's Empire. Uh, Randoms. And this is the Corporate Sector Authority. Meaning we're definitely going to have to build up our uh, orbital defenses here ASAP. Was that Golan 1, Golan 3, Golan 2. Moncala has all the people. Okay. Unpause. And let's do a little bit of scouting. I know we've did, done a bit of talking, but I have to get everything kind of familiarized, you know? In a minute. Uh, down here in the south. We're going to want to move these guys all the way up. We'll move them all up here to Vesbin, and then that'll be kind of our launching point. Akbar's over here. The Greater Maldry's already conquered a planet. Pfft, that's insane. They've got a, oh, they've got a bunch of stuff down here in the core too. This core is clustered like a mother. Oh, there's Talisi right there. All right, like I said, Contrib is going to be important later on too. I don't know how we get access to the larger shipyards. Uh, what does this do? Second zoom, I upgrades. Okay. I mean, how do we get a bigger shipyard? Capital shipyard tier three. I mean, we are, so we already own it. Okay. Oh, this is the number of space structures, right? Orbital defense strength is two with this. So I guess if we just put more there, we get like three. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's think about how we're gonna go about this right now. We don't really have much in terms of firepower here. This is a defense level of two, which is probably really, really good. This is only two in Moncala, and then Zinj also has a Super Star Destroyer, which is nothing to play around with. So we got to be very careful of that. Let's um, let's weigh our options here for a hot second and think about our decision making we're going to make. We do have a bunch of forces. Okay, we have a bunch of worlds over here that are just kind of free, free to the Republic. Okay. Nebulon B's right here. I mean, we got a bunch of spare ships right here. Now, the, the Imperials at Gendine can definitely be a problem, but I think we have enough room to kind of play around with to hit this lower region over at Rhodia and so forth. Okay, let's make this move quick. And if I'm talking all weird and professional, I don't know. I got a lot of rest last night, man. I took a melatonin, like a mel me melatonin. I took like a one milligram melatonin and uh, it kept me asleep. I, I, like I normally don't believe in like taking melatonin because they really mess with me sometimes. But, okay, it's just one Dreadnought Cruiser. We probably could have just routed the forces from Ryloth, but it doesn't really matter. Nothing's really, like, in threat to our south over here, so we have enough room to just kind of take over these planets, which is good. It'll give us time to kind of build up things and uh, uh, attack, basically. So, yeah, th this should be a lot of fun. I just throw us revenge so long. <laughs> I'm excited to do this, man. I'm excited to do this. We can kind of see everything they have. That is one sexy Nebulon bee. I think Remake and ALTR Remake and now and Thrones Revenge, they all have some of the best Nebulon B models now that I've ever seen. 
I know a remake we just completely redid the Nebulon B. It looks incredible. I'm happy to see good Nebulon Bs because for a while we had some pretty terrible ones. All right, no talk. Let's go in with our ships. You can have some pretty big fleet battles. Holy cow, 300. Um. All right, so. Concussion miss. Damn, this thing has a lot of missiles. Now, I gotta remember, we do not pierce shields in this mod. I gotta remember that. But I am looking forward to this. We're and then we're calling out. the Nebulon Bees. I think these have point defense lasers, don't they? Point defense, yeah, okay. I don't want these on the front, kind of like right here. And they come with what? Um, do they come with starfighters? Okay, they do. They don't. Okay, that's fine. Right away. And I have the largest Republic fleet in the galaxy right now, but I mean, we've got enough. Oh, they do spawn with fighters. Wait, what? Am I tripping? Uh, okay. It doesn't really mention them. What is this? Okay, Y Wing Squadron, one and a half. Six Y Wings, you get one Proton Rocket? I don't know what AC stands for. Fighter Eye Cannon, Fighter Laser Cannon, Concussion Bomb. Okay. One fighter proton torpedo. Okay. Cruiser standing by. This has assault concussion missile launchers. Okay. We should be launching more fighters soon, right? Weapons online. No. Nope. Weapons charged. Nope. Uh. Open. Nope. Brigade responding. Uh, okay. I'm a little scared right now. Ready for action. Frigate standing by. Let's focus on these dreadnought cruisers. Screw it. Who needs it? I copy. Moving to attack. Okay, wow, those do shoot down missiles. That's really cool. Oh, there there we go. Alright. So what are we working with here? We've got a full squadron. I know there are double squadrons as well. Alright, we're we're we're, we're set. <laughs> Hundreds of Y wings to work with. Or dozens rather. Awaiting orders. Bombers at the ready. I like this model. It's red. Wait, are there different like colors? A medium bomber design history started in Clone Wars. The current history bombs built in review. Do these have like squadron names, if I'm not mistaken? That doesn't matter. Ready for orders. Let's get into a little fight over here. All right, so the fighters are going to do their thing. The focus are fire on that dreadnought cruiser over there. I'll turn my headset down a little bit. I was getting a little beat up, but that's okay. We got enough anti-missile protection to last us a lifetime over here. Yeah, we're lighting these guys up, man. Y wings are inbound. I like this Y wing model a lot, actually. There we go. I see a double squadron of B wings. That's a lot of B wings. <laughs> All right, CR 90s also have uh, what you call it, uh, like missile protection. Two assault frigates moving around. With how the hell do they have access to Coronas as early? That's nonsense. All right, well, our Y wings are a little bit in trouble over here. Okay, let's circle this guy around because if I remember one thing from Thrones Revenge. Frigates die easy. They, they, they turn into literal tissue paper after a few seconds. Oh, we got Y wings that have been going through it over here. Yeah, this is all freaking should be going down any minute. What is this? An IPV Corvette. Hey. Let's get in the fray over here and try to shoot down some of these Corona frigates, baby. Hey. So far, so good. Yeah, I mainly wanted to get back into Thrones Revenge just because of the story stuff. I've missed playing something like with a really, um, like super developed story. Not that none of the other mods don't obviously have their own developed stories, but Thrones Revenge is, you know, entire focus is story content. And I've been missing that element, you know? Those are the A9 vi Vigilance Squadrons. Gotta watch out for those. We just got overwhelming firepower. Okay. Y wing squadron reporting. Yes, commander. Reporting. 
Okay, Y wings will be back off. Breaking. We've got a station to move on now. They've got another assault frigate coming in for support. Attack that uh, the one Golan shouldn't be too much of a problem. They've got dozens of, or not dozens, but a couple of IPV corvettes. CR 90 with point defense lasers. B wings that are doing their thing. I don't know what they just shot at us. Hey, we got laser cannons to deal with them. I think they were just about to drop proton bombs. What the hell was that? Concussion bomb, proton rocket. Okay. Uh, hold this position here. Starfighters, just stay back a little bit. Let them come to us. <laughs> These guys have access to everything. They have defender squadrons before they even like theorize. I'm pretty certain. We should be able to just keep shooting down their missiles. Nice. Starfighters, back off a little bit more. Now worth running into the guns of these starfighter or these anti-starfighter units. That's it. Take them out. Ready for command. I copy. Calling for me, sir. Roger that. There we go. Targeting. And the soft freaking should be going down. Firing. Let's deal with the last of the IPV Corvettes. Roger that. Squadron, move out. I've always thought it was interesting that the fighters Four all like fly in a straight line. Order. I've always thought that like when you have fighters on multi multiple axes, axi, axes, I think that visually is a little bit more appealing, but it doesn't really, it doesn't make a difference, obviously. I should shoot down those missiles. It definitely seems like missiles take some form of overwhelming firepower to kind of get through, you know? Wow, missiles really do get shot down when you have 12 plus Nebulon bees. Let's set these guys to hunt and let's deal with this last uh, frigate. Okay. Enemy unit Engine, I don't know how you're losing your shields, but we'll back you off. We actually are no in no position to afford like losing. Uh, we're not in a position to lose capital ships. Basically, is what I'm getting at. Alrighty, let's go for this IPV over here. Take him out. Nice. Let's take out this last one. Okay. X-wing squadrons are gonna go for the other IPV. Bombers, you're gonna go on an attack course on that Golan. Yeah, just ignore it. Just bypass. Go, go, go. There we go. Everybody else should be free to move up now. Ah, uh, this is all freaking stat of the battle. Not worth it. Not worth it. His health is way too low. Yeah, this goal is going down like it's tissue paper. <laughs> Let's deal with these defender squadrons. There's a double stack of them, so that should be, what, 24? Yeah, this golem is dead. Dead in the water. Okay. I think we should be safe to fast forward now. We don't really lose much out of this. Okay, let's deal with these guys again. And just wipe out the station. Oh, they're dead. Nice. Okay. Heavy frigate yard destroyed. Zen just conquered Waylon and Roche, which is around. Uh, I'm so used to Empire War at this point. I kind of just know where planets are going to be on the map for the most part. Roche should be, yeah, right around here. Metalorn. Man, seeing all these planet names brings back memories, dude. Those early days of playing Empire War on one of the worst laptops that I've ever owned in my life. Just. Didn't know what the hell I was doing. Still winning battles, having a good time. We're definitely gonna to wanna to build more capital ships for Mon Cala too. And then, we might, we could probably sacrifice our fortif fortifications at Endor because they don't really have much here. This whole core region is just kinda messy. So if we can move Akbar up with the rest of our fleets over here at Besbin and take Cal, we'll be in a good position, I think. We'll take Cal and then move on to so we have like a staging boy or we could leave Cal as it is and not really worry about it right now which is probably an even better decision that way we could kind of focus our efforts all on liberating this core area I do know that Devardas has a Praetor if I'm not mistaken uh, but I don't wanna, I don't want to take any chances and lose units over it so we're not gonna you know do anything risky I think we're gonna continue our efforts over here at Tatooine and Rodia 
Uh, does this expose us to anything? That's right, no. Okay, Glom is chill, Vergesso is chill. Okay, we can make these moves really quick. We'll clear up these territories, circle our forces back around to Bothawui to hold that territory, just in case the Remnant gets any kind of like bold ideas, and then we'll just start building up over here. As for Akbar is concerned, to Besbin you go. What's happening? Maximilian Veers is dead. Grath is dead. What the hell? So many people just died. Your Yadu Authority just took Elrud. Is that where they were? Because a whole like swath of people just died in like the blink of an eye. Tactical they have a Venator. Okay. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Ah, we're bringing back like icons and stuff I like this. So I've always liked seeing the little characters and stuff right there. Need more of that in mods. Marauder cruiser here. Oh, that's a Vic. That's a Imperial frigate. Yeah, an Imperial too. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? IPV Corvettes for escort. Uh, Interceptor fours for escort. A modular or a strike cruiser, and a classic Venator. Yeah. All right. This should be easy, but we are going to play it safe and just be completely and utterly Let's move out. careful, you know? Let's go. Coordinates received. Moving Bring out all of our nebulons with all their beautiful out. point defense Location lasers. Confirmed. Jump Turn right around. on top. Kind of like the fact that we don't have to waste too much time getting into the action, so the battles aren't as repetitive. Okay. Yes, Commander. Awaiting orders. Okay, let's focus our efforts on that Imperial 2. Circle this guy around. Holy cow. Okay, 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 okay. Things die so quickly in this mod. Okay, well, this Nebulon B is dead. I tried. Okay, <laughs> I tried to keep him alive, man. Oh, boy. He's dead already. Let's deal with these fighters. That Nebulon B is dead, unfortunately. Rip. Things do die very quickly in this mod. It, it sometimes throws me off guard how quickly things go down. Let's deal with this. Now let's focus on the Venator. Bro, holy cow, you things die quickly. Okay, maybe a little too quickly. Hey, let's go full power to shields on everything, man. Just not even take the chance. Kill this Venator. Pop this up here really quick. That's dead. We're gonna lose like three Nebulons potentially with this. Oh, we got fighters running a muck in our flank over here. We have an IPV or that uh, Interceptor. Save that last Nebulon B from being killed. Okay, fighters don't count. That's cool to know. Still, damn. Things get deleted sometimes. That's okay. I don't think Nebulon Bs are expensive by any definition of the word expensive. Like, if we go to Bothawui, yeah, 900 credits for a new one isn't really that bad. Uh, we do have the option to get these guys as well, these Esco or these uh, boarding shuttles, but we're not going to spend money on that yet. I do want to fortify our forces down there. We've got a goal into a building right here, and then we also need to worry about our actual resources. So we're bringing in nine per week on industrial parts, and we're bringing in food, three per week. All right, so that's building up nice and steady. I kind of wish we the map was a little bit zoomed out so I could see things just a little bit better, if we're being honest, because uh, I'm blind. Mining facilities can be built on Oberdon. Okay, now we have access to heroes, new heroes. What is this? Defer the choice, selects a random choice from the available options. Cool. Admiral Kalbeck, he, he commands a MC-80 called the, uh, the Justice, Justice, yeah. For Gab. Okay. MC-80 Star Cruiser Silent Water. MC-80, remember, Alderaan. Um, how many more do we get? Admiral Kalbeck. Research eh. 
All right, he's like tier five, I believe. Yeah, he's tier four. He's not very good. Tier five, tier three. Uh, tier four, tier three. So let's stick with tier threes. And then we should probably invest into a couple other heroes in the local region too, or down here. I don't know why I said it like that, the local region, what the hell? Uh, he's an ace pilot. This one is a spy master. So wait, what does spy master mean? Oh, we have 42, we give plus that per week, okay. Um, let's see, what are we looking for here? We need to look at the heroes, story events, hero units, and tooltips. Uh, so Spy Master reveals nearby systems. All right, we actually might get that down here. Researching. That sounds just a little too good for what we need right now. We're surrounded in Contra. I, look, I'm gonna do my best to defend this planet, but at the speed at which things do die in the mod, I have zero faith that I'll actually be able to hold it properly. Uh, push him to shove or retreat. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll come back another day. Save the Republic. And then we gotta worry about this over here. Desucha. It's Desucha 5. And then we can kinda... We can kinda move these guys up oh, here. Way. Yeah, we'll move them back to oh, Baltimore. Research complete. And we'll move this guy over here. Complete. Okay, we've got you down here, which is good. That should help us a little bit with our spy network. They were building William Burke for here. Okay, so we have we have some ships to really work with kind of over here in this area. Ooh, Akbar's fleet is gigantic. And he's backed up by Rogue Squadron. He's got some MC-80s to work with and play around with. Uh, we've got Mothball over here just doing her thing. Um, okay. We're not making any credits on Side Joe. Like it's not even worth building anything right there. The Sullust Golan 2 is almost done. We'll be able to build a Golan 2 soon here as well. Okay, I think our goal is just to push into Bell Savis. And, um... We have a shipyard nearby, is the question. Oh, here's how you build more... Well, I guess you, certain planets can and can't build shipyards, but whatever. Um... Okay, we have, we have a bunch of stuff we can build here. A bunch of units we can build here. I mean, I'm sure... I'm certain there's gotta be, like, some unique ground stuff maybe here, too. Could be wrong. And then Solus obviously has a lot of ships to kind of play around with. Okay, let's move these guys over here. And then we're gonna move to these troops up here. Okay, I mean, what do we even have here? Uh, just some light stuff. I mean, nothing like spectacular. We'll move them all over here. And I know I keep pausing a lot. I'm just trying to, it, I'm not gonna do this as much as we like make our plays like through the mod. Uh, but there's just a lot I gotta remember or figure out, Come you know, so. With Bear with me. Bear with me. We'll make it through. Tactical battle. Mm -hmm. And then we're building mines here too, so we should get a ton of credits. They have nothing about service. Nice. They have a trade station, it looks like, and that's about it. But if we can disrupt the Iriadu down here... There's no historical references to Bell Savis. I think are. Revan had, like, a like a base here in Star Wars Your Republic. Or something like that. Okay. It. I wonder why the maps all reveal themselves like this. Not that it's a problem. Moving to uh, well, be I just definitely feel like it uh Consider makes it battles just a smidge too easy Proceed sometimes. Engage <clears throat> the hell is he piloting? He's piloting. He's piloting a. Uh, is this a precursor? Oh. Wow, I did not even read what the hell he, he was actually going to be piloting Underway. when I dropped him in from uh, hyperspace or when I purchased him. We're on the move. Not that it matters. Moving That's actually really nice. Moving into position. Moving Different unit from just another MC-80. I'll take set. it. Roger, setting course, sir. The fleet sizes Bonus you can have are just obnoxious, and I love it. Moving out. Moving. Heading out. Uh, I don't like uneven Cancel. units, and I don't want to risk Rose Squadron. That's fine. Look at this fleet size, man. Like, it's massive. <laughs> I love a big fleet battle. I am with you. Beware and we got uh, B wings what that are doing the it. Ooh, H wings. What?
Okay, 12 Ready? squad. I'm excited to see the H-Wing because if you've ever played Awakening in the Rebellion, the H-Wing is probably one of the most powerful bombers you will ever come across in a mod. That thing is cracked, to say the least. And uh, I'm always not going to single every like thing around to other mods and stuff when I play, you know, through Empire War. But uh, it's just something interesting to point out. What is this? Aggressive tactics, all should be aggressive boosting damage output of the expensive shielding. That's fine. Yes. And then this is draw their fire. Yes, Commander. Right. I am with you. Beware of traps. Not that it matters. The station is dead. Right away. They're falling back. They're gonna retreat. What do you suggest? That's it. Scratch one. I see these H wings in action. Yeah, that's the H wing. It's funny seeing how much more popular this this unit is becoming now across like different mods and stuff. Okay. Pretty easy victory. All right, so is he gonna give us any information on local planets? Like, does he actually do anything or? Galactic Stealth, full system spy. Okay. If I send him to a planet, is he actually gonna be a spy? That's the real question. I don't, you know what, all right, let, let's say first, returning to TR, we'll just save it like that. Yo, these save times are incredible. If we send him here, what's gonna happen? Tactical battle. Okay, so it's not, it, interesting. Okay, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Could just know what I'm not doing, maybe. The enemy is We're gonna just back off of this planet. Heavy victory is standing by. Wait, does he launch starfighters? Because if he does, what do we have here? Okay, no starfighters. But if this planet is just this poorly defended, we can send a small little detachment of the Republic fleet down here to uh, this region. Should be easy to take out. Okay. He's not a full system spy though, which is unfortunate. What is this? Oh, going one. Uh, does this tell us what we have in orbit? Dreadnought shipyard. Golan three. Begin sure. Construction. We have enough ground troops for this operation too. We we should. Let's uh move all this stuff up here really quick. Right away. Just gotta get everybody in position. Emma. Yeah, uh okay, they're still taking stuff over here. So that's probably where the bulk of their fleet is. They're not gonna hit most of far. There should be a superstar destroyer there with X2 from um fucking hell, what is that game? Uh, <laughs> Elite Star Wars Elite Squadron. What a game. In room. Let's move all of our troops over to Bespin. And I think we can also build more stuff here. Well, if we were to sell some of these structures, I think we could build... Oh, there's a build limit of one. Okay. If we sell this... Well, this lowers our influence on a planet. Does that really matter for Bespin, though? I don't really think it does, but uh, okay. It'd be nice if we had a spy that we could, that we could use down here, but uh, that's fine. We just built both the spies. It doesn't really matter. They're cheaper over here. Oh, we have a little bit more money to play around with too. Let's invest into a Golan two above both. That's going to be a very important plan in the long run. And then we should have two ground battles to actually do. One over here at Belsavis, and then one on um. Rodeo. Okay, let's get the troops on the planet. And uh, do our first ever grounds, or Thrones Revenge battle on ground in like years. What is this? A Moth Palace. It provides a couple of different things. I mean, you know, nothing too crazy. Did this say 8080? I, I thought I saw 8080. I was going to freak out for a second. I thought I saw 8080. 
but it gives it gives us a little bit of bonus to food too which is really nice but okay yes all right we got some troops on the planet we need to eradicate all enemy forces to gain control of the planet i do know there used to be like some kind of objective thing you could do too i don't know how here, true sir. that is anymore and so these guys have uh blaster cannons like missile launchers what is this Okay. Can do. Choose your reinforcements. Let's call in right you guys. Ah, uh, dude, I haven't seen these models in literally on years. Ready. Reinforcements on route. Moving the snow right speeders. Oh, these are some new GR seventy five models. Nice. And then this will give us a medic squad and a defense trooper squad, or this one will give us an army trooper. Oh, let's go for the medic squad. God, dude, you had to be there for back in the day. Oh, wow, units have abilities now. Construction complete. Is this like a Mark II variant? What is this? Okay, cool, cool. Sorry, I had to read that for a second. Standing by. Oh, but man, you had to be there back in the day when um units used to do like damage to each other, like artillery units. They used to. They used to literally kill each other. Like if you fired them at each other. Ready, sir. Or what, what I'm getting at is artillery used to Roger be like, that. friendly fire was off for, uh, or was on, on. off? On. It was on for units back in the day for artillery pieces. Uh, so you orders. could kill your own units with the artillery units. It was kind of, it was kind of silly, enemy but enemy very freaking annoying. Holy moly. Okay, let's back the hell off over there. Go, 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 go. It's not, it's not safe for work over here. You guys need to push up. Go, go, go. That's a lot of troops. What is this even powering? Okay. You guys do your thing on this. Oh, they're building an AA turret. Let's back off of that. Oh, yeah, it does enough damage. Oh, we need more troops for the front over here. We're actually making our way nicely. I think we're okay. Oh, uh, what are these, walkers? Oh, these are army troopers. They've got fletchet launchers from uh, Jedi Knight. Cool. What are these pistols they're using? <laughs> is that is that a E11? Yes, sir. Why wait Let's here? just bomb out there. Well, we can't do that now. Run. We'll save our bottom run and our bombers. Okay. These are deflectors shields. I just realized. That blood? There's blood in my PG-13 Empire War? That's a, I, I support it. Okay. Let's get you over here. Another, what, what even is this thing? What is this monstrosity? Imperial class M1M repulsor, repulsor tank. A stripped out version of the 1A Armor and Bay, okay. This had to like come from like a comic or something. This feels like like a 1990s like Empire like Star Wars comic kind of looking vehicle. Okay, let's uh get you all fixed up. You guys over here. And then let's put you down here with a couple of free runners to you know do some stuff. Back off, back off, back off. Engines primed. Actually, let's call this in too. Form up. There's that. That should do a lot of damage. Gold squadron commencing attack. Well, these have gold uh, colorings, so like gold squadron, literally. Let's nuke this out of existence. Torpedoes away. We've secured a build. Reporting. Oh, all right. Well, it's dead. Cool. Ready. Let's go. 
It took my comments literal, like very literal. Ready for action. Affirmative. Yeah, that's not a good thing to see. All right, speeders, uh, do some damage to this, please. There we go. Fire at will. These guys should all pretty much die. Wait, did something? Did I just lose something over here? Or am I, am I just yep. tripping? I think I'm tripping. Oh, uh, let's move forward. <laughs> ah, dude, my scroll wheel won't let me like turn. The oh, they're retreating. I'm here, sir. Back off! 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 Damn! All right. I'll take it. That's a win. I'll be it a little chaotic, but it's a win. A win is a win. Uh, okay. So this was us in a nice little spot right here. We're right on the doorstep of Iriadu and its authority. It's planning to authoritate and do Iriadan things. Let's, um... I think, what would be the next good plan of attack here? Did I put a goal in here? Okay, I put a trade port here. We're already making a lot of money now, too. Well, a lot of money for, you know, TR standards, anyway. Who are you? Oh my lord, their entire like military is over here. Okay. Wow. Okay. Do we build a hero over here? Or do we just we ran out of space? That's what it is. Okay, we're gonna want to make sure we don't lose the hash shipyards super early because this plan is crucial to the survival of the Republic over here. Um I'm gonna sell this barracks. I'm gonna, uh, we need money for an eye, can't I? Never mind. How much is this, 500? We need 2,000. Hmm. Atrophist might be a nice little target to hit. One, two, one, two, three, you, Rogue Squadron, and this. Let's hit this planet real quick. Empire conquered a Sucha. Wait, what? Imminent. Shit. <laughs> the Empire might be closer than I thought. Uh, defending Kothlos. We could probably sacrifice Ryloth, right? Crap, they can put mining. You can put mining facilities here. All right. Let's deal with, let's deal with the Atrophis. Let's deal with the Atrophis first. And then uh, we'll kind of decide from here. Okay. This is for all the marbles. It'd be an easy kill. Just one station. Okay, this plan is not fully revealed at all. Raiding parties are still a thing too, right? Yes, sir. It should be. Enemy unit sighted. Oh, what the? F okay. Traveling now. On my way. Right away. Heading out. Fall out. Oh, let's just let everybody exit out of space. Let's go. Going out right away. Moving out. Heading out. Let's get you out of the front. Moving there now, sir. Oh, they're just gonna retreat. Cool. I'll take it. Not ready for the full might of an MC uh, 80 home one type, independence type, whatever you want to call it. Cool. And there goes that. Off to a nice start. The Empire's running scared, or the Imperial factions, I guess you could say, are really running scared. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we're going to stop here for the day. Hopefully, you are enjoying this playthrough. It's kind of nice to really revisit a mod that really kind of jump started my YouTube channel that got me into playing Empire War as a whole. It's something I've kind of wanted to do again for a while. This is not going to be the only mod I'm going to be playing, but it's going to be one of a few. Uh, the other ones probably won't be as episodic as this one will be, but they will. there will be additional content in addition to this mod on the channel. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. Check out the links in the description below for my discord my patreon if you want to support me there as well and my socials and as always guys i will see you in the next video may the force be with you all peace